back. Random TV reviews. Your girl Lynette. And it's your boy. Stanley. All right, we're coming in this week with Queen Sugar. I think the name of the episode was Transparent Skin. I have not a stroke of notes, That's but we're going to go off the top even. of the dome because to be honest with you, it wasn't a lot, but I will say that I believe that now this book is like an onion with every layer that's being cut through. Yes. We just get new tears. Exactly. And this episode is no exception. Thank you all for um, last week. Y'all came through. It was like, you know what, Lynette? Your book idea is a good God idea. Genius idea. idea. Which, yeah. But let me Which tell y'all, this is why I'm going to put the burden on y'all. If y'all want Ava to know about this, flood her. Yeah. Let her know to come over here and watch it yep. so that she can get some ideas and maybe your players can get a big break. You know we ain't looking for no big break. But <laughs> in all honesty... Social media, y'all do y'all thing. You know, yeah. it's out of our hands once we say it. If they come over here, they do. If they don't, they don't. But if y'all want them to see it, then y'all flood them and be like, you know what? Check out the fam. Let's make it do what it do. Hey. The YouTube thing. If you're not subscribed, hey. go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. And if you keep coming back and typing in random TV reviews just to see if we got a new upload, that means that you're not subscribed. That's right. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It'll Boom. come up in your Boom. feed. Hit your bell. And we'll be like the ring doorbell. Ding dong. And we'll be like, your cousin's <laughs> here. Hit the thumbs up or you thumbs stupid. down. It doesn't even matter at this point. You've already been counted. You know what I'm saying? That was, so. that was a great intro. <laughs> that was a great intro. I'm a real YouTuber now. Am I a, a real yeah. YouTuber now? You know. So let me go ahead and get the Landry's out the way. Okay, Charlie has found out what the Landry's are up to. Instead of trying to push this initiative for the prison, we knew that that went away Wait, too, too, too easy, easy. Too easy. Well, come to find out that they are trying to back this initiative to bring a highway clean through the land mm -hmm. of all the black farmers including the border loans and including the Landry's so she ended up going over there and talking to um to the mama Jacob's mama I said we, we knew she was evil from the jump start yeah I mean that yeah, was, she was full of skit anyway but at some yeah. point I kind of tried to give her the benefit of the doubt because within every evil vessel there's a little bit of good not you, can get, you can sometimes get a little bit of truth you can get her. a little bit of truth out of her well come to find out what they have decided to do was because jacob is that family member that's guilty by association but he is not publicly corrupt so they want him to run for counsel and that way no one will oppose the highway going through the land and dividing exactly. the land and doing all that good stuff and Charlie confronted the mama about it, and she basically told, called her a nigger without much, calling call her, her a nigger. Exactly. She said, you know, I remember there was a time where you wouldn't even be able to walk. Or, yet, or yet, clean the toilets in this place. She said 40 years ago. I said, you dry lip ruby woo wan wench. <laughs> I said, okay. So Charlie was like, you know what? I got you. I know what I'm dealing with. Exactly. And then she had the nerd. The mama was like, you know what? I read your sister's book. So I know what I'm dealing with. So basically telling Charlie, I got the blueprint to your next move based on a book. She said, let me tell you something. So you won't even know the half. Yeah, I did this for my husband. And yeah. yes, I was over there in New York and I did this in L.A. But if you think that a book is going to tell you who I am huh. and how I conquered them all. You got another thing coming. You ain't even going to see me coming. I said, Charlie about to run for council, uh -huh. y'all. Yep. She about to run for council against Jacob. And you can't forget she told us that you wouldn't even last five minutes in Hollywood. So in other words, she was saying that this little petty bull skit y'all doing down here. It ain't scary. It, yeah. You ain't even in the big leagues yet. I, I know exactly what to do to handle you. That's exactly what she was saying. Mm -hmm. But they are smart. Making smart moves or putting Jacob trying to get Jacob. Oh yeah, that's very yeah. smart. It's a power move. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we want to make some things happen. We gotta make some power. Gun. Yeah, we gotta have some power moves, man. So I'm not even mad for that. I yeah. Mean, that's how you get if what we you had want. the opportunity, we would do it too. And let's be honest. Like somebody wrote in our comments last week, and I was like, I couldn't disagree more. That they were like, there is no privilege in being of a lighter skin. <laughs> Charlie is the is the borderline smoking gun. Yep. Let's not even try to act like we don't see this. Mm -hmm. Everything that needs to be done 
Charlie has to be the face of it because she is the lesser threat of mm -hmm. the black people. Yeah. And she's the accepted one. Sit, sit Ralph Angel. Yeah. And see how much you get done. None. Nothing. And you definitely can't send over now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, Nova, why, we, why you brought her up? Nova is getting all the validation that she needs from the outside that's putting her mind at ease that for some reason she still thinks that this book is a good guy doing an idea. Although everyone in your family isn't talking to you. Exactly. Nobody's picking up the phone. All you're getting is voicemail after voicemail after voicemail. She down there chucking down that um, red wine like it's water. Mm -hmm. I said, honey, you might have to hit the blunt on this one because what I <laughs> did to you last week, that is blunt worthy. You hear I what just, I'm saying? I just hope she said that to her out of email. You know. No, she didn't. But you think she was, she was, she was serious. When an old person tell you, don't come to my grave, believe like, them. Yeah, like my <laughs> angel said. My angel said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. The, the first time. So, Nova has this six, six city tour coming up. So now she's really trying to mend things with her family because she wants the support of her family because for one, it's an image thing. Mm -hmm. You're going to have that front row. It's almost like when you go to church and you have friends and family day and ain't nobody on your row. Where your family at? <laughs> yeah. You talking about this book and how it's supposed to mend um, families and how it's supposed to expose things and start healing things. Where your family at? Yeah. They ain't coming. They ain't coming. And the only person that's talking to her in the family is Micah. And I'm still trying to figure out why. But which this is probably going to send a message out to her fans that... The family is not on the up and up. So you put this stuff in here making it look like everything is good, but they ain't showing up with no support. At all, period. So y'all, y'all got some stuff y'all need to fix too. Mm-hmm. So she had it. She went to her first, um, her first, um, what do you call it? Whatever. Yeah. The first, the first meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Michael showed up. Chantal showed up. And she went on to read an excerpt that she did not put in the book because she said she didn't know she was strong enough, enough to read it. And I said, Winch, are we seriously going to add more onto this already damaging book? Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. She went on to tell a story about how her father used to always love to go fishing together. Mm -hmm. We've heard this story before. And they went into a, well, she was sitting on the truck. He went into a store. I guess he went to go buy bait or whatever. He went into the store. He was happy. When he came out the store, he yeah. was sad. He had this look on his face. He had a bloody lip. And a bloody lip. And long story short, these guys was plotting to do something to Nova. And mm. it sounded like it was going to be something sexual. Later on down the line, Nova said that she loved to roam at night and walk through the sugar cane. Because, you know, she's she's an earth child. Well, she ran up on her father, digging a hole in the ground and tossing a body in the ground and covering it up. Hmm. And she didn't open her mouth about it until now, which I'm glad. Yeah. Because your dad would have been sitting in somebody's prison. Exactly. But Lord, y'all, Ernest. No, Master Randall yeah. took care of the problem, or somebody else took care of the problem, and he he just went on and finished the he, deal. Yeah, he sealed the deal. Well, like I told you, I wonder was that his deep depression, Could that be. that secret that he had that caused him to go out in the field that night and was get ready to pull the trigger on on his head, but God darn Prosper came through and brought deliverance. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I wonder. So Micah. After it all was said and done, Michael came home and he talked to Charlie. He told Charlie, you know, we missed you, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he started telling her about the story. And at first, Charlie thought that she knew what Michael was going to say mm -hmm. and talk about the depression and whatnot. And no, 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 no. She had never heard this story before. So she ended up getting the truth together. You know who the yep. truth is? Her, Ralph <laughs> Agent, <Aunt Vi. laughs> And you could tell that Unvi knew but maybe they didn't know everything, everything. and maybe yeah. Nova didn't know everything because I was like shh yeah I don't want to relive that story please and I said this 
But, she said there are some things that you have done that's so dark that there it should only be shared between you and God. Because there needs to be something that y'all need to talk about on Judgment Day. Everything ain't for everybody to know. And um, Raphael was like, if that was my dad's secret, maybe we could have helped him carry that burden. And um, I was like, uh-uh, no, no, that 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 won't work. <laughs> this but, was his. I said, what? what? Ernest or took somebody, <laughs> burned them in the ground, <laughs> put a water hose in their mouth, and blew their goddamn stomach up. But I'm gonna play. I'm gonna Read play. It, put it in the um, comment section. You know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the devil, devil, devil's advocate right now. Well, but anybody think about how Nova done felt seeing her father do that and having to live with it up until this point? I agree. Yeah, and that's a lot. And at the same time, none of them came. And talk to her. I mean, she hid it too. I gonna say, yeah, they, yeah that's right. Know. Yeah, that's right. Cause they didn't, they didn't know. They didn't know. So I think maybe that's what's going on with Nova. Seeing him do that is like, okay, look how detrimental this was to me, and I don't want other families to be detrimental the same way. Which is a good motivation to try to bring change that way. Delivery but, all wrong. Yeah, but delivery sucked. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe if she sat down and talked to them first, they could have told her what they what she could put in the book. It'd be like, let's do this and do that. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do that. And you know, because it to me it ain't even worth it right now. It's uh -huh. like, yeah. With them with Rye avoiding her coming in the restaurant, he's like, I ain't coming around because on I said, Why'd you come? Why you come around the back for? Why you coming in the front? I said, cause your niece is your around niece. there. So she, she ain't even being addressed as his sister. Yeah, your niece. Or not even by her name. <laughs> I do that to Stanley all the time. When something yeah. happened, I'd be like, them be your people. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So, when Aunt Vi said that she was serious about not seeing you no more, she can't even come to the diner. Like like Stanley said, when she comes to the diner, the wait staff is like, uh-uh. She said not today, the same way she said yesterday and the day before. But first she of don't all, see. first of all, she shouldn't even be involved in y'all family drama. She just an employee. Facts. <laughs> so why is you putting why oh, why why is you putting your employee, you know, in the family business when you want to keep all these secrets? Fuck the family. The family yeah. wrote a book. That girl should have said, if you want no now he be here, you go out the front and you tell her. So you are you a Hollywood back there hiding from. Let's go ahead and, and play that advocate. Here. That's that girl's money. You want me to go out there? I go out there. Well, you would need to give me some rage for this bull skit. I'm pretty sure she pays that girl. Say, so you want me really to be well. Dr. Phil and the waitress here? Hey, I, I, need, I need an increase. Uh -huh. Well, y'all remember a couple episodes ago that um, Ralph Angel's friend was trying to convince him to go ahead and do a re-entry program on the farm. Yeah. And Ralph Angel wasn't trying to feel it. He basically was like, listen, I'm trying I, to <laughs> I am finally free. Yeah, doing my um, thing. I'm, I'm doing good. I don't want that. Well, he yeah. reconsidered and he actually did do it. And he named it after his father and whatnot. And he has a whole buttload of um, people to work the farm, potentially work the farm. I think it was about 10 of them. Yeah. Um... <laughs> One guy was like, you know what? I heard that farmers work um, and pay is not steady. So, yeah, I mean, what's the deal? Yeah, so I'm going to have a guaranteed paycheck. <laughs> Raphael just said, look out here in these fields. Basically, ain't nothing but space and opportunity out here. If you're yep. looking for an office job, this ain't it. But statistics say that within six months, 50% of y'all will be back in there. I'm just creating a space so to make sure that that's not true on my watch. Yeah. So, either you want this, it's hard, you're going to get dirty. But it's here. If you don't want it, then huh. But anyway, if you want it, there's piles of paperwork over there. Let's make it do what it does. Well, we gotta give Rob his props, boy. From the time we met Rob at the beginning of this yeah, making, uh, buddy. show to now, he done grown leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he run the farm. He hired workers. You know, he get respect in the streets. Getting respect in the streets. Done found himself a new girl. Uh, I mean, he got a lot going for himself, so, and he's starting this program to help, you know, people get back into the workforce that have been to prison, because that's still a problem. Still so a problem. I'm glad they bringing light to that. So I'm like, okay, this person got out. That still don't mean that they're the same they still person. Agree. Yeah, yeah, and they're the same person. So thank God for people who are out in these streets that are providing jobs to people who are just getting out of prison, because they do exist. they just not highlighted, because those are the ones that are really making a difference. Giving your brother yeah. or sister a second chance, like as if nobody messes up. Mm -hmm. So you know um Ra's um worker Benny, right? 
So Benny is actually going to be the person that's kind of like the foreman for these workers and whatnot. So Benny had um, pulled Raw to the side and he was like, because he was messing with Blue and, mm -hmm. and, you know, teaching him different stuff on the tractor and whatnot. And he asked Ralph Angel, he said, can I ask you a personal question? Ralph Angel gave that look like. Uh -huh, like, looking at you read that book? <laughs> like, <laughs> you can, but you better come in here right. And he asked him, he said, you know, you and Blue. Ralph Angel said, what you hear? And he was like, what I want to do is give you your props. Yeah. Because my biological father wasn't there. So for you, basically for you to be doing what you're doing and he's not your bio kid, mm -hmm. man, I have nothing but respect for you. Yeah. So like Stanley was saying, though, when we were watching it, he was like, I see what they're doing. They turning this thing around. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad about it. It's showing the blessing side. Yeah. So the blood side, she done lost her family. <laughs> the blessing is people are being healed. But I still don't know if it's... It it, I don't enough. know if that's going to be enough or would not. So, now, Dollar has gotten a hold of the book. And I said, where the hell she get this guy doing hard copy from? Because yeah. the only hard copy I knew of was she the one that on down at Walmart, man. They had 20% off down at Walmart. They ain't got no Walmart. They got Kmart down there. <laughs> Yo, she has the book. And she's reading the book. And the next thing we know, she's at Nova's doorstep. Going off. And she freaking lost it and she said you put everything in this book now y'all know i'm not a fan of dollar but i have to give it to dollar yes you are absolutely right you put she put everything in that book to tarnish her future and everything that she is trying to leave in her past mm -hmm. you don't brought that to the forefront for all of these people to read and to judge her all over again and most of all her son her son mm -hmm. then nova was like but i didn't treat your character like everyone else's i did change the name and da -da. yeah she I said you would have to be stupid to, to not, not put two and two together, together. yeah to make... everybody knows that it's me exactly i was like you know what <laughs> and she said nova you know what's the crazy thing all the stuff i did you are worse thief than i was uh-huh she you, said because you, you stole all, all of my memories and put it into a book. I said, ooh. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> and she's right. She's definitely right about it. Let's go over there to Davis. What? Well, let's go ahead. We're going to close Dollar out. Dollar went over there and she cried to Ralph Angel about it and whatnot. And they had a moment because he's had time to process what Nova did to him. So he knows exactly the space yeah. that Dollar is in at this moment. And I just hope it don't bring them two together. That's just what I don't want to happen. Or or make her relapse. Or make her relapse. Yeah, because that don't. definitely could make her happen. relapse. Mm -hmm. Cause she especially get bad for her in the street. She lose her job and everything. Yeah. yeah. So Davis West, he says Charles here text. So it was like I got a surprise for Micah. Can said, I come through? Said Davis West, the West Coast pimp. So Davis West <laughs> came through, and <laughs> we thought maybe he had a new car. Yeah. Because so he texted oh, uh, text Apple Watch, and he had a surprise. Maybe a new iPhone or yeah. Samsung, whatever your whatever's your flavor. He popped up over there at Charlie's house with a whole kid. And Tom also, oh, I'm sorry, I ain't know, I ain't know you gonna be here. Talking ain't about this, ain't this her house? Charlie was like, did this new just bring the baby that he had on me? to my house and you did not didn't even let me know yeah didn't even give me the respect to let me know what so the i can at least fix my on. face before the child come in the door and and now i'm gonna take it a step further why didn't you warn the mother of your son to to, to kind of prepare him yeah to meet his sister for the first time that's some bullshit dish where yeah he just walked up just walked on the like oh this day this day this your sister hey this your sister but Charlie P came real quick and she put on her stone cold face yep. real because at first you could tell that thing hurt her to her core. Yep. And she sucked it up and she met the girl and she told her that she was welcome at her home anytime. Then she got Davis West off to himself and she said, I see what this is. If you think for a moment, uh -huh. you going to bring a child that you had in on me and drop her off here for me to raise you got another uh -huh. motherfucking thing coming. I'm not going back no rage this girl. I was like, I said, there, Charlie. She said, so that's your child, your responsibility. She's always welcome here, but I will not raise that girl. Mm. I will not do it. And I said, Derek on right. He said, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retire and I'm going to take up a, um, what is that, coaching job? Yeah. And she said, she said good, good for you. you. And God bless that daughter of yours. <laughs> yeah. Because I ain't got no parts of it. And I'm like, 
the nerve of some people. I want to say this right here. Do y'all think eventually that Charlie going to be like, fuck it, I'm going back to California. I hope she do. I because, want Charlie to leave. I mean, it's like everything she do in that town is turn around. It's bucked up. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, she helped them. They've come a long way. And I'm like, if this road goes through, I think Charlie going to be done. I, I know I would. I I'd just, I just be done. I'd be like, you know what? I had a good life back in uh, California. I'm going the, back. I came out here for daddy. I tried. I gave him my best shot. I've been going through hell since yeah, I've been my here. my best foot forward. And these ninjas around here don't appreciate skit. I'm going back. Yeah. And what? that's the one thing I do hate about the show. Is it always seems like their victories are so short-lived. Short-lived, yeah. I'm like, come on. I just want to see them flourish. I want to see them. You know, I, I do like the controversy because it keeps the show going. But let the controversy right now be the family. Let's let's leave their land alone right now. Yeah, just let the land. Yeah, don't let. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like you just got a thousand dollars and then you get a thousand dollar bill in the mail. Hello, you just canceled me yeah, out. Yeah, I man. just canceled me out. I was enjoying it until that bill came. <laughs> <laughs> That's Charlie. Yeah. So let's go back to Nova real quick. At the at the I guess it was a book book release. Um, whatever. Chantal had rolled up on her and was like, you know. I'm glad that you wrote the book. You know, do you need some support? I've been working on myself. Da 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 da. And kissed her dead in the mouth. Who was like, if you need some company later on, or you need someone to talk to, I am here. You know I'm saying, I yeah. said, oh. like she took Nova soul for a minute, and later on, Nova ended up giving her a call because anybody else answering your phone call, so you might as well <laughs> go back to your ex, right? She called Chantal, and she was like, you know, what are you doing? Where are you? Chantal said. Mm. I told you I was working on myself, right? <clears throat> you know where I am. Why you come over here? Why you just ain't pooch over here? See, this is just like you. You want everything on your terms. Mm -hmm. You want things how you want it, when you want it. And I told you I was working on myself. This is a brand new Chantal. So if you want somebody to talk to, da 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 da, then you have to come meet me where I am. Yup. No hung up. She was like, you know what? Never mind. That was a truth she couldn't handle. She couldn't handle. That's it. what she did on this book. I said, mm. yep. I said, Chantal got you a little bit, but Chantal, you played with her too. You played with her. Yeah, you did. Avi, at the end of the episode, mm. Avi is not connecting with um, Hollywood the way she usually is because she just got a lot on her. And they were getting ready to go to bed or something like that. And she was running her bath water, right? She ran her bath to water so that she can get out the most emotional scream cry fest ever. And Hollywood can hear her. I mean, and that thing touched me to my uh -huh. soul. She was hollering, boy. She was loud in the towel. Yeah. So can you imagine if she wasn't in the towel? So Hollywood was looking like, should I go in there and help her through this? And I was saying to myself, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. let her have her moment. Let her process this mm -hmm. the way that she needs to process this. And for that right there, I am saying that there is more to the story, story. about this body mm -hmm. than those kids know about. Exactly. She knows what the hell happened. And it's going to open up a whole floodgate of skit mm -hmm. that Unvi is going to have to relive and reprocess. And what if it wasn't the white men that was in, 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 in those bags? Yeah. What if it was Nova's mom? Hmm. What? I don't know. Like, there's yeah. so much to they this. There's so many twists and turns there. And every time you think you got it figured out, you really just don't have it figured out. But with the lesson in it, it shows us just because you hide something and bury it for years don't mean it's not going to resurface. And then my mind was like, okay, now that Nova has pretty much put it out there that her father don't bury somebody in the ground on their land. Can't they lock down a portion of their land for an investigation and resume bodies and do all that good stuff? Like, how does that even work? Like, and but if that so, happens, that's going to buck with the, with the um, harvest but, time. But it ain't all in the book, that. though. Huh? It ain't in the book, though. But it's out there. Yeah. But it's out there. But she could have flipped it around and be like, I just made that up. To make it. It's fictional. Yeah, it's fictional. To pull you more into the book. I don't know, but I still don't know how Monova's going to bounce back from this. Like yeah. I said, I believe that at this point, somebody's going to have to die, to die for this family. Because I hope not, man. Or somebody's going to have to get seriously hurt 
to bring this family back together because I just. Oh, it I, might even be something happening to Nova on his tour. It could be. Yeah. Cause she seemed like she wasn't happy about going to Atlanta. Did you see how yeah, she Yeah, cause she was looking crazy when they when said it, Atlanta. Like, I said, oh, honey, you got holes in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, next week, I'm quite sure they're going to give it to us again. Shout yeah. out to the writers. Whoever been writing for this season. Y'all been writing your hand on song. Man, y'all deserve raises. Bonuses. Yep. Y'all need a trip. Advances trip. on the next season. Yeah, and I'm here for it. Straight from the VA. Oh, yeah. Oh. And happy 4th of July, y'all. Happy 4th. Yeah, sorry to intrude on y'all, but just in case you didn't have nothing to do. Juneteenth. Yeah. So, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla. Can't do it on that one. Bye.